The C and Wit show? I'm watching that for sure. Oh, 100%. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a female. I do not do work. I'm too rich for that. We don't like violence. Guys, I'm not gonna like brag or anything like that, but like, look, my wife shot. Everyone else? Fair Fuck them. <laughs> Welcome back, bitches, to another podcast. I feel like it's a little... <laughs> Hi. Um, um, I'm Whitney, and this is the See and Wit podcast, if you're new here. Okay, whatever she's saying, just cut that out. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> no, but we have another guest, obviously. We have Miss Katie here with us. Hi. How are you? Good. How are y'all? We're good. I feel like I need some more wine already. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Where'd well- you get that from? my mini fridge i can't drink one no she's allergic mm-hmm. and to tequila as well <gasps> yeah how i don't know just one time i drank tequila and my throat started swelling and i found out i was in the hospital i was like wow that's scary what I about wine though no. <laughs> alcohol poison wine, I don't, uh, my, my throat gets like itchy when i drink wine it's how i am with avocados hmm. fun fact you allergic to anything nope nothing so Not you're living yet. life on the Easy road. Never broken a bone either, have y'all? Yeah, I broke my wrist. Oh, no. I got hit in the head with a golf club. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that kind of explains a lot here on today's world. <laughs> yeah. You. Me too. Anyways, go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit. Kind of tell me where you're from. Um, siblings, family, mom, dad, things like that. We don't have to get in too depth with that, but just yeah. like where okay. you're from and what you do. I'm from Michigan. Um, you didn't know that? No, what part? It's a little town called Berrien Springs. Mm-hmm. I grew up in a shut. I grew up in a trailer park there. No, shut your fucking mouth. So you've heard of Lakeshore? Not really. Yes, you I have. mean, probably yes. Berry Springs is literally twenty-five minutes from my hometown. I moved there from when I was seven, so I don't remember a lot of towns and stuff. But I grew up in a trailer park until I was seven. <sighs> I did not know that. Yeah, no, Berrien no Springs. one really knows I'm from Michigan. Berry Springs is. Li- <sighs> Let's go back to our hometown together. Yeah. Fuck Anyways, no. carry on. Sorry. Um. So I have four blood siblings. I grew up with two other step siblings, but I have an older brother and three younger siblings that are pretty young. The youngest one's six. He might have just turned seven. Um. My stepdad. I grew up in the trailer park with my mom and stepdad, and then, well, not all of them were conceived, but um. My stepdad had a really bad drug problem, so that's why we moved to Tennessee in the first place, to get away from drugs, which pff, never helps. You always find someone when you're a drug addict, but my real dad, he was in my life. Like, I'd see him on and off, but not really. Mm-hmm. Um, he moved to California. That's where we'll get into that. <laughs> but, yeah, so he wasn't really in my life. My older brother has always been very there for me. What's the other? <laughs> what else was the question? What about school? Did you go to Okay, school I've been there? to over 20 different schools. Oh, really? So we moved around in Tennessee all the time because my stepdad was always relapsing on drugs or losing his job or getting put in jail. So usually motels, but a lot of the times we'd get a house for a little bit and get evicted eventually. Um, so that's why I've lived friends. A lot of people know I've lived with friends since I was 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Any feedback on that? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. When that did you good. when did you move to Tennessee? Yeah, when I was seven years old, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so we moved to Madison, Tennessee. I don't really know where that is, but everything's around Nashville. So we've kind of stayed in the same area, but I've been to like so many different schools there. Mm-hmm. I actually did eighth grade twice, but it's okay. I was young for my age because I wasn't learning anything. I switched schools three times in one year that year. Wow. So I had to do that twice. Dropped out my sophomore year and got my GED because I was so sick of it, being the new kid, not having friends. Mm -hmm. That school, though, is where I met my best friend, Olivia, though, which I'm so grateful for. She's been my rock. Mm -hmm. Like, you know Liv. Um, She actually... She's the one that had a baby. I don't Mm -hmm. know if you guys know, but... Yeah, she actually just got back with her first love. And um, she's pregnant again. Oh shit! No, she said I could spill the secret. No one knows oh, in our so town. Is, yes, like no one. Do you think knows. people would watch it from the hometown? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew that because you told me, but I didn't know you could say it on. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, God. Well, congratulations, yeah. Olivia <laughs> and Nick. <laughs> that's awesome. That's cute. So you went to different schools all the time. You didn't really have like a. 
no like, I have no just... childhood friends like I didn't have a childhood yeah I have a lot of trauma stories mm-hmm. with my family and stuff um were your were your mom and dad like biological dad t- together like for no at all well they were my older brother's five years older than me so after they had him they had me five years later he ended up cheating on her a lot even before then yeah he only wanted a girl for some reason so one time my brother was three he beat him like almost to death for pooping his diaper like he just didn't want a boy so i was always like the favorite in that That's aspect how my stepdad was weird. my stepdad wanted to have ba- children with my mom until he got a boy and never did yeah just weird like, yeah um they get like really re- revengeful like, angry it's yeah like why don't you want a son yeah sorry you don't think you love him regardless but um (laughs) so on my one year i was like getting baptized or something he went to go get the cake and next thing you know he's in california he ran off with some girl to california um and like left me and my mom and my brother i don't and that's when you guys moved or no that's just when they split up and then she found my stepdad which my stepdad was always a really bad addict ever since she met him i'm pretty sure She actually wasn't for, like, the first 10 years of their marriage. Was your real dad into drugs or anything? No. My real dad was, yeah, not into drugs at all. He's 100% Romanian, so he's very, like, foreign, like, cars. That's crazy. How'd your your mom, like, feel about that? What was kind of her breaking point into kind of divorcing him, or did he just run off and that was kind of that? I guess the cheating, yeah, and then she found someone else, but she always loved him. She took his suicide very hard, and she couldn't let my stepdad know, so she told me she went into a hotel parking lot for five hours and just bawled her eyes out after she found out. Um, are your, your uh, mom and stepdad still together now? He actually just recently passed away two months ago. <gasps> oh, you guys didn't know that? Yeah. Um, they both went into rehab. I mean, this will all make sense with my siblings and stuff, but my siblings are in foster care right now, you know. They've been there for a year. They're with my mom's brother. They're safe and good, but they both had court-ordered rehab because they're trying to get them back. And... My stepdad got out a week earlier than my mom. Like, his their rehab dates were just a little bit different. And she hadn't heard from him in three days, and she was like, something's wrong. And they found him in a storage unit, overdosed on fentanyl, with, like, a ton of alcohol wow. bottles. Like, wow. Is your mom okay? <sighs> I mean, I'm getting her through it. Like, she's really my best friend right now, which is crazy because I me- did. I just recently saw that you all yeah. started seeing each other again because it was a huge thing with not being able to see your mom, having no parents No, me at and all. my mom didn't even call her mom for a while. I, I posted a TikTok about my siblings and the foster care situation. Mm-hmm. Like, I was trying to get them, you know, and she was on drugs then and she called me and she was like like katie what the hell and we stopped talking after that i would maybe talk to her once a month like just to know we were okay but we were not on good terms we were not okay and then my stepdad dying it's such a sad thing but it brought it so many puzzle pieces back together like my mom didn't talk to her dad when she was with my stepdad but he's been really there for her like through her grieving time and breaks my heart because my siblings I was there with my mom telling them and Dylan the one I basically raised like that's my baby he called me mama growing up he's the same age I was finding out my dad died mm-hmm. so it's a shitty situation wow hey, where do you live now do you live like by yourself um so three years ago it's actually about to hit like our three-year anniversary friend anniversary. um this girl introduced me and my soulmate to each other like we had a sleepover all three of us and i never left that girl's house after that night like she was my rock she had we had covid together immediately and it just bonded us and we moved to knoxville together like for college so we had an apartment together and We moved back home together. uh, Knoxville wasn't good for us. Like, too much partying, Mm -hmm. too much drinking. Mm -hmm. So we moved back home together, and we're still living together, and nothing has changed. Like, we've only became closer. She's my Christian. I always call her, like, I'm Kristen, and she's Whitney. (laughs) Because, like, she looks more like you, and I look like you. That's awesome. So I kind of want to go more in depth to kind of, like, your biological dad and how that ended up. I don't know if you saw any signs of him, you know, really yeah. depressed or anything like that. Growing up with him, things you saw that, you know, kind of, yeah, whatever. I so don't- I was so young, I didn't really, like, think even to look for that type thing. Mm-hmm. I actually just recently found out this year that a month before he actually did succeed in his suicide, um, he tried, he attempted, and he was in the hospital, and he asked for me 
like he wanted me to go flat to California and be with him and stuff. And my mom, I was nine years old, she said, absolutely not. Hearing that broke my heart because something could have been different, you know, maybe he'd still be here. Um, but this is so sad. I remember the night, the last time I ever like had any whatever contact with him, he called to talk to me and my brother and my older brother said no. And I was nine years old dating a boy for the first time. I was too scared to talk to my dad. Like I was too scared he'd be mad at me. So I said no, because I was nine years old and had a boyfriend and my mom texted him and she was like, look, the kids don't want anything to do with you. They don't want to talk to you. And he printed that message out and put it in his pocket and shot himself. And where was I going with that? <laughs> wow. That's just wow. really crazy to think about. I just found that out this year. So when I heard that, it broke my heart. Um, was he not present in y'all's lives? No, not up? really. I mean, we'd had visits with him here and there, but I, I loved him so much. But he wasn't a real like father figure to me like didn't show me how to be treated type thing so did that put your mom into any type of trial or think that with him having the letter because i I feel like i've heard like things where if like suicide notes were like like, you know what i mean like is that that i mean your mom in any he wrote a suicide note basically saying like fuck god like fuck everyone no one's here for me so he was obviously just in a really really dark place um no the whole my whole dad's side family blamed her so and she was really close with them she didn't have a good family growing up either so that really like hurt her but yeah nothing with court thankfully wow i'm like i'm like shocked i'm like shook right now no i know i like i I just want to hear you keep like talking like (laughs) yeah no i don't know how you just like just don't yeah it's it's basically like i mean i could i could cry if i really really think about it but it's just like on the surface like yeah i'll tell you what happened Mm -hmm. and it's not gonna affect me like i'm so used to it like are you okay yeah 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 i've gone through what stuff i've gone through stuff makes you stronger yeah Uh my mom she's um you know she's clinically depressed my dad was obviously clinically depressed so kind of just genetically yeah wait, what age did your dad pass away your brother nine yeah yeah so did you when did you find out really how that like was going what was going on and when he did pass did you not nine or no no i didn't even know he shot himself until my grandma just like brought it up in a conversation and i was like i didn't know that's how he died um in his apartment just shot himself and yeah i found out everything last year i went to visit my romanian family they live in michigan buffalo michigan um and I kind of found out more with that. And then my mom told me that this year. So I kind of just got all the information. So it was really fresh. Were you upset when you kind of didn't know everything because they were hiding it from you or not really? I was, yeah. I yeah. was I was just like, I really wish I could have gone and saw him. Like maybe something would be different. You can't put that on yourself. Though. Yeah. No, I was a little girl, but you know, yeah. it just sucks. I felt the same way whenever I found out about my dad. I was like, yeah. I wish I could have done something. Did he commit suicide? He overdosed. Okay. But they I'm said like, okay, on the so obituary. I related like, to you twice. I, it was like a accidental overdose, but I think that the way that he was, when he called, like just the last time we talked, it was just made it feel like it wasn't. Like just the way that he Same was explaining it. Same thing with my stepdad. Like, like it was accidental or whatever, but like no one knows what really? was going behind yeah. his, his thoughts. Mm-hmm. So about your stepdad, when did your mom and step stepdad start getting together? And was he like... I was like a two. father figure not really no never no. like <clears throat> I always knew he was on drugs he you know when someone's barred out they're falling over like Christmas morning falling face in his cereal yeah. milk type thing that is crazy oh, my, my dad did the same thing no way yeah no I woke up one morning this is like right before I try to commit suicide even though y'all didn't know that yet but um we were in this house and my mom and stepdad were both really bad on drugs. You could tell I actually went and lived with my boyfriend at this time. His mom invited me to live with them because she was an addict in the past. I woke up and I go to my bathroom right outside my room and I'm struggling to open the door and it's his his body. He's in my cat's litter box, head in my cat's shit and my one-year-old little brother stuck in there and my cat. So I just, I grabbed my little brother, got my cat and left him in there like, just stuff like that you just know were you like close to your parents at all like or did you ever tell your mom like this is how i feel yeah one time um we were in 
an apart one of the many apartments we lived in and I looked at him and I was like this is I feel so bad talking ill about the dead because yeah. I know he was a good guy but drugs made him someone else I remember I was like 12 and I was I looked in his eyes and I ran to my cro- I ran to my closet and started crying and I was like mom I saw the devil which is just scary. I mean, it's drugs. It and wasn't towards him. the end too, like before they're about to pass. You can like see a whole different human being. Like you look at them in the face, and it's not them. No, and drugs changes yes. people. Like their face, their Body. personality. Like they're never the same. Yeah. No, I will never. Was touch. he ever like physically abusive or to no. your mom or to y'all? No, thankfully never physical. Verbally, they'd fight a lot. He cheated on her at one point, so that was a lot of screaming arguments. Mm-hmm. I remember going in there and being like, you guys need to shut the fuck up because you have little kids, mm-hmm. like little boys. And they were just continuing to have children, even knowing that they were, like, sick. Yeah, I mean, my mom, I, I don't blame her as much because we got in a car wreck. This is how she got addicted. We got in a car wreck together, and she got a concussion, and they prescribed her pain meds, and she was like i didn't even know i was addicted till the bottle was out type thing and i mean this past few months she has really like turned around everything like so sober her roommate from rehab relapsed and she cut her out of her life immediately like she's doing everything she can to get my siblings back alone yeah she's living in hotels right now until we get a house yeah does she have like a like a job like how does that work out of rehab i mean does she can they go straight to just start working? Yeah, and, like do they help with that? And no, they don't help. She's done a few interviews. Um, I'm pretty sure she does a job lined up at FedEx, UPS. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's doing really good for her, right. like for what she's been through. I so admire her for it. You. So when yeah. did your as much? I don't know how much you can talk about this, but when did your siblings get taken away into? Um, so foster? my little brother Eli, he was five at the time. So this was like about a year ago. My mom calls me and she was like, Eli's in the hospital. You need to get here right now. Like, he's not breathing. <laughs> this is like that. Give me like chills because Eli's a baby. But, um, so I was like freaking out. I was on the way to the hospital and she calls me and she's like, it's okay. I didn't have my car with me. I was like 40 minutes away. Like, I didn't know how to get there. I was asking all my friends and stuff. And she was like, it's okay. Like, you don't need to find a ride. He's okay. But he was in the hospital for a few days and he got into drugs my stepdad's drugs and he overdosed on them oh my god yeah and so that's when he got taken away for like child abuse um did you ever find like any of the drugs or anything like and try and throw them away and stuff i didn't i didn't try to like actually yeah i would find needles all the time was too scared to ever touch them i'd find xanax bars what did uh your little brother get into you um, know it's called methadone mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. it's when someone's trying to get off type thing he, it was in a gatorade bottle and he drank it mm-hmm. just like one sip and he's so, five so th- nobody ever took them away knowing that they were on anything pr- previously we Even had before a year we, ago we had cps cases before my mom she was sober for a long time after eli because eli made her get sober so she was doing good I don't really know how that changed. My stepdad was an awful influence. Again, I hate talking so bad about him, but, like, he did mess up my life a lot. It's just a fact. Um, But, yeah, we had many CPS cases, but never taken away. Like, never something that serious. How did uh, your stepdad feel when the kids were taken away? Did he give a shit? Like, did he give a shit? Or was he more of, like... um... Mm, There's no telling. I was never really close with him. I knew he was a bad guy, like... The drugs made him a bad guy. I honestly just think he was so messed up. I mean, over 20 years of drugs. Like, I mean, what does that do to someone? They're not a person anymore. So, of course, I think think he felt bad about it. But, um, yeah, my mom, he got all visitation lost. My mom still goes and sees them, like, every week and stuff. She was then. Yeah. So, they're still in foster care now? Yeah. Do you know, like, where they're at? Yeah, they're at my uncle's house. They're oh, good yeah. and safe. Okay. Um, but I really I really pray my mom gets them back because I know they'll be a, a lot happier. Like How she long just does has she to settle down and yeah. get her place? To yes. She is sober, though, now, right? Yes. Out of rehab. How long does that normally take for them, the court and everything, to process that? I have no idea. She's she working gonna with be at least a few months before, like, even another court date type when thing. When you're 21, I thought you were allowed to be able to take them, right? Or no? I'm 20. 
But when you turn 21, is that a thing? I don't know. But also, I'm not like, I don't have a house or anything. So I'm just like, how would I? Yeah. But I would love to. So you weren't, you moved out when you were 13. Yeah. I'm, because of the situation at home. Yes, I moved in with my boyfriend. So don't what was you. like, I, <laughs> so when you, I saw that social media post about raising money for that. What was that for? That like, was for my siblings, just all their needs and stuff. But obviously not all of it was spent. So it's in a savings account just for them. I want to, hopefully I'm going to put them all through college type thing. You know, hopefully so I'll be. two together right now with your uncle. Three. Three. Um, my six, my sister just turned 16. My little mm-hmm. brother's 10 and my other little brother's six or he might've just. How many kids seven. do they have at home? None. So the do do they live by you so you can go see them? At yes, home? yeah. Oh, my mom sees them every Sunday. Oh. That's her like visitation right. Who's uh uncle on which side? My mom's. So it's her brother. So they're pretty good. And yeah, they're good. How do mm-hmm. they feel? Your siblings. They miss my mom. They do. do they understand? Yeah. Mm, no, not really. I mean, when we told them about my stepdad dying, um my little brother didn't even remember him. He hadn't seen him in a year. So he was kind of confused when my, like, the 10-year-old and 16-year-old started crying. Because he was like, what? Like, who is this? Which was really sad to see. He's, oh, I got to see a picture of him. He's that's so cute. adorable. Oh. I mean, if he looks like you, he's adorable. <laughs> Absolutely. But, oh, that's, so, that's so crazy that that's you've been through that so much stuff. And you're, like, so mature to talk about it. I you know, everyone... I meet they're like you're so bubbly and like bright and I'm like really mm-hmm. <laughs> because you, I'd be going through it up here mm-hmm. oh I can only imagine yeah you had to raise yourself yourself yeah, yeah. and, and your, your siblings and basically nope. your children when Eli was a newborn my l- youngest one we were living in a motel my mom worked two jobs 18 hour days and my stepdad worked all the time too so I was in this hotel raising a newborn like I'm so confident in my mothering skills because oh, I I've bet. already raised two little yeah. boys that's it's awesome. Like, though. So yeah. I mean, it's not, that too. yeah, but I kind of, cause you did bring up and we did talk about this. So you said that you tried to commit suicide one day. Yeah. So how did it get to that point with depression and anxiety and stuff like that? So I'm going to this new school, have absolutely no friends. I knew my parents were on drugs really bad. There was just no one there for me. And I saw this bottle of Prozac, antidepressants, and it was just a huge bottle, like 200 Mm -hmm. pills. And one night I just started taking handfuls, started taking them, and my mom walks in on me. She was like, hey, I wanted to make sure you're okay. And she like sees me and she was like, Caitlin Amber. And she takes me to the hospital, but I feel the stomach pains already. And I actually ended up having a seizure and Mm -hmm. I still have tremors. Like if I stretch out my leg, like, like up, like it'll shake it's like a permanent tremor and then i got sent to the mental hospital um for a week how was that i actually met some really cool people there (laughs) like mental people are cool (laughs) but um i don't i wouldn't say it helped i was just like i'm fine i didn't mean it like i don't want to be put on pills did you mean it that yes but i um 13 yeah 13 um holy shit balls i just never wanted to be put on medication because of what i saw my parents mm. even though it's prescribed it's antidepressants, no, no, I, whatever but i was just like i'm not taking a pill i'm not messing up up here like i've seen what it does so what led to that point though what was like your breaking point well, i was I w- just so I mean, at 13 years depressed. old you don't know but i feel like you had to mature in a lot of ways and yeah. you understood quickly what was going on i mean on. that was kind of after i walked in on my stepdad in my litter box and stuff i was finding needles i was felt so alone and sad mm-hmm. anyone i loved lived an hour away because we just moved to this random city that my stepdad got a job out like immediately so i mean i was just completely isolated i don't i didn't have transportation to get anywhere you know my mom's not going to take me an hour away to go see my friends on drugs so yeah i just felt really alone and kind of seemed to seem like the only way out i still feel like that sometimes like it happens like times where you do feel that way and you kind of like talk yourself out of it like how would you yeah Yeah. definitely so sad Mm -hmm. you guys don't go through that (laughs) there was one point in my life but i mean the things you've been through like yeah i feel like it's a lot different than hey we all you were always here like yeah. seriously, if no, you want to come stay with us for hmm. however the fuck long, you I can, will. God, you can. I, I swear to God, I'll bring your mom into my house. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, 
it makes me like so like it's crazy like you never know no you never do know and people like after i posted the gofund uh, gofund me for my siblings and everything people were like she's lying she's like known for scamming men y'all i had to do sugar daddies when i was 13 because i had no money like i did it online like i made a video a tiktok about it that's how i bought my first car like i was like i wasn't scamming anyone they were just doing that yeah but (laughs) having having no no one to look up to yeah in your life you kind of where do whatever you can do you have any grandparents i do um my grandpa lives out in tennessee in the middle of nowhere like bumfuck nowhere (laughs) i don't even know what it's called um would never go there i'd be more depressed (laughs) sorry grandpa and then my nana she um she's all over the place you never know she basically lives out of her car she's always so busy like she's go 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 also she had my mom really young my mom's the oldest of eight kids and she had her when she was like 14 wow so my nana's only 56 so she's go 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 involved in any type like no she she was living in michigan but did she like try to help the you guys at least i mean she tried to help my mom as much as she could but you can only do she things. offered to take the kids but my mom was like no they're my kids like she never wanted to give us up type thing she was just at a really bad point not being smart with her decisions what about the other like um siblings of hers like aunts and uncles they ever try to help or the other like oh oh um see my family's really fucked up so i also her sister has five kids that are in even worse situations than my siblings if that says anything so all my aunts and uncles like are taking one here and there and stuff of course people offered but you know my mom wasn't she didn't want that that's crazy so you did mention in your other story when you're explaining um that you found your mom overdosed Mm. how i didn't find her i didn't even know that happened and she'll until she told me later on i was like mom you died She's like, yeah, my stop, my heart stopped beating. The ambulance had to come and stuff. And I was like, please never do a drug again. Please. How long was she in rehab for? A month. Which even, she was clean even before rehab, but she was still doing methadone. So mm-hmm. every morning she had to drive to a methadone clinic and take her methadone. And so it's a, just a huge relief. She doesn't have any commitment to anything. She's not addicted to anything Does at all. Does she feel a lot better about? Yeah. No, I'm very confident she will never touch a drug again. That's which awesome. I'm thankful for. Have I feel like guys, I got my best friend back. Oh, have you guys <laughs> caught up a lot and yeah no i was i recently went through a breakup a few months ago and she's been my rock through it just why nights and crying to her was it hard for you to forgive your mom in certain things and putting you through certain things like that and not really being a a mom during your childhood definitely i was definitely very angry at her until she sobered up that's when i was like okay i feel like i could breathe again but like if you go through our text messages there's paragraphs like i'm sick of all the trauma you've put me through i'm sick of not having a mom and seeing all of my friends i live in a super like wealthy town you know it's by nashville so seeing everyone have their parents do everything for them i was so just like i would i would cry Mm. well Uh, what about uh, i want to talk about the boyfriend mm. (laughs) how long were you that you just said the last you were just in a relationship we were on and off for two years we actually broke up because my TikToks kept coming up on it, all his frat brothers for you pages and stuff. And they'd always have something to say. They'd always just keep digging at him with it. And then he'd break up with me and be like, I fucked up. I want you back. And I'd stupidly do it. It happened maybe like at least 10 times. We broke up and got back together. It's a cycle. I yeah. And then, and then this past time, he, um, I took his, oh i don't know if i should say this okay this last time he had (laughs) sex with sex with another girl and i was like oh so it's for real just done and then begs for me back after that i see him on spring break we're talking again kind of then he stops texting me out of nowhere and then on his birthday he posts he posts best birthday yet with the girl like he got like girl he kind of cheated on me with yes yeah Hmm. so i was like okay I hope she's watching us. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, yeah. They actually just broke up. Oh. Oh, they did? Well, yeah. He texted good. me yesterday. We no. should catch up. Stop. He texted. That was what your TikTok was about? Yes. He texted me. He was like, we should catch up. I like, guess friends, of course. 
You're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Not again. Yeah. He's about to get called the fuck out on mm-hmm. this. He's not going to know what no, the No, he texted me today. He was like, stop making TikToks about me. I'm like, oh. well, no, that's my Okay, content, I'll make podcasts. <laughs> they stop giving me content to post about you. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> literally. Like, like, no, I'm serious. Yeah, like, stop, stop giving me content. Yeah. The exactly. fuck, you dumbass yeah. bitch. Yeah. Piss really? me the fuck off. To lighten the situation, we'll talk about how me and you kind of came oh, around yeah. and know each other. Yeah, that's a little funny. Do you remember when we went to... Um, I didn't know y'all know each other until I said something last week. Christian, said, you don't know this, but me and my friends came up to you and took a picture with you. Oh, was I drunk? When? No, when? it was in PCB. Okay, do you remember when we went to... Was P- I there? No, Listen, yes, I don't think so. Yes, yes, yes. With no, you were there, but I don't Listen, think you were with do you remember when we went to PCB with Rocky and then we stayed yes. in that house and we got fucked up every single day all yes. day? That's this time I met her. Do you remember that? When we went to go get on that fucking hot dog banana little yes. thing, and they said, oh, no, the girl in the yellow or orange bathing suit's going to come. That's that her. was her. I the was in a one. neon. The hot we saw neon it. yellow we bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, but I didn't know about next to this. I the pineapple willies, and I look at her, and I was like, damn, she's hot. Well, you said, you said there's the girl again, and then that's when no, Rocky, I that's remember when Rocky other. came up to me and said that in front of you, and I was like, I can't believe you just I did, did not that. I did that was fun. But no, so we were you. supposed to go on that stupid we talked about you floaty. Really? You're, she's like so she's so hot. hot. Shut the no, we fuck. literally were. So you're that we were supposed to go on that hilarious. little hilarious floaty hot dog thing. I don't know if you ended up yeah. going on. Okay. No, 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 I didn't. But oh, I know what you're talking about. about. Yes. That is so, so funny. They look he looked at Rocky looked at me and went and he goes, Actually, that. you guys can't go on that. I thought you knew. Uh, you guys can't actually go on that because the girl in the green or yellow bikini. This is new. They were like to neon, me. neon. They kept calling you neon. And they look like that. She'd be like, and like as if we're fucking stupid and we look over and there's this hot ass blonde with big blue <laughs> eyes we're like she's yeah hot. we're fucked so I think oh you my had gosh i had in. no you idea had about braids this. in i think yeah i did have braids in that day i was actually eating we, with a boy i liked <laughs> <laughs> then we were eating at pineapple willies and that's when we were leaving but we went and grabbed something to eat and then that's when he was talking to you and i was like Honestly, I thought you I thought your guys' relationship was completely like fake for publicity type well, thing. No. He made it like that. He, so. made, yeah, he no. made me out to seem like that. But anyway, he, he would talk to girls all the time, you yeah. know, fuck them they actually. Were, no, send me videos. Really realize send likes. you videos? Mm. Baby, I got a video of him coming in another girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm out of wine. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I did not know no, that. I so did, did I he no hit idea. you up after or before, like before i met him like the day before this is funny i met him the day before <laughs> i mean um, i hit you huh? I, <laughs> yeah. I had no idea who he was but all my friends were like that's rocky he's famous so i thought he was actually famous not some like making thirst traps so i thought he was actually famous i go up we would go up to him they were all too scared so i was like come on guys and as soon as he sees me he's like who are you like looked me up and down and kept saying something about my eyes and I was like, can we get a picture? And he, like, lifts me up, like, legs around him. I remember seeing that picture. He posted it. <laughs> yeah. Deleted it real quick because me and my ex got back together. Um, <laughs> no, guys, I only went up to him for a picture to make oh, no. my ex jealous. This is really funny. So I posted with him on my story, like, his hand wrapped around me. And his, like, I hands, like, on my boob. <laughs> she goes, damn it. She's hot. Uh-huh. And, um, I was my- like, wow. You found a hot bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives me <laughs> his phone. He's like, let me get your number. I'm putting in my number and like other people come up to him and he disappears. I was like, where did he go? I should have went through his phone, but I didn't. <laughs> you would have found. Yeah. A lot. But um, I find him. Don't I give it him back. Cock. He's texting me all that night. Like, come over. That was the night we came back and he was like, I'm leaving. He said he was leaving to go hang out with y'all. Just but not wait. you, but he said, they're all talking <laughs> Just like... Just wait till how I dissed him. Um, so my ex slides up on the store. He's like, who is that, Katie? Like, he blocks me and I'm texting my ex like, I promise I'll never talk to him again. <laughs> like, I don't know who it is. I'm just trying to get my ex back. And <laughs> Rocky's like... This whole time he thinks he's bagged a bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and I'm just like trying to make my ex <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Y'all should see my ex too. It's really sad. Um, so I haven't had really too many bags. <laughs> um, we talk about Rocky and Connor. And that's so not he, something we follow. <laughs> <laughs> so he um it's texting me like come to this like airbnb and stuff and whatever and i'm smoking i'm smoking with a girl and she cut her foot open that day and so i was like what do i say to like not have it be like no but like have an excuse so she scraped her big toe earlier that day and i sent him a picture of it and i'm like we're on the way to the hospital like my friends really hurt and that's how i got out of hanging out with him (laughs) We didn't go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That is. Did true. you think he was? What was your first impression? Um, nothing special. Why is he famous? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, he's a good-looking guy, but I, I just didn't get it. D- not my type. I like kind of ugly guys. Not afraid. Remember to that TikTok you posted and I texted you about, and you're like, "If you like, remember you post that TikTok of you." <laughs> Wait, which one? You have to remind me. It was pretty recent of the guy holding you, and you were like making videos in the bathroom or something yes! like that. Yes. So there's this random guy met on Broadway. <laughs> that's crazy so any new boyfriends now or anything talking to anybody um i went on a date with a guy last week it was really good you just get asked out on dates i mean not i've never actually even been on a date like this like he picked me up in like a really nice car (laughs) like went to the door for me kept opening at my car door like went to the super nice italian restaurant got a bottle of wine it was like classy i was like okay so (laughs) you're like wait till you hear about my best <laughs> no, so, yeah, but no. is he cute like yeah i think he's attractive so you guys been talking is he from your house home- where you live yeah yeah that's um, so cool i wouldn't say we're talking but we're going on dates that's cool that's so cute yeah. are so, you what do you do for work though like social media right now do you just do you like do brand deals and stuff yeah okay. But don't get me wrong. I've, like, been applying places. That's not my main mm-hmm. whatever. I usually do have a job. But You'd be a hot bartender. Oh. I want to be a bartender. Dude, work at fucking, like, Hooter. Fanfix just DM me. You know, like Kid Rock or something. And yeah, I'm not kidding. You'll, you, why don't you work downtown Nashville? I'm like scared, Miranda y'all. I'm going to get kidnapped. Mm. No, uh, okay, well, we have a bodyguard. True. They, you They'll really, walk you out. You know how much money you can make? Look at you. Oh, my God. Just like that. Stop just me back, no, no. Tip you, like... You, Kid, bat your eyes like is, is this all you want <laughs> on oh, god that's not all i want <laughs> i swear to god that's not all i'd be ordering <laughs> no i really should i'm so scared about making drinks and stuff but nervous i got like that fan too. fix just dm me have y'all ever oh, done did? that i got no, i haven't DMs, done it but, and we, we know a bunch of people fans, that do but, it yeah i heard it's just like a it's like an only fans <laughs> but it's like less yeah exclusive. less mm-hmm. it is the same thing fan fix and only fans they're pretty much the same thing but i thought there's no nudity on fan fix no nude. Mm-mm. Yeah, I won't do nudity because my family. I kind of want my siblings seeing that, but especially like my Romanian family, mm-hmm. like how they would look at me. I don't even want to know. Yeah, I'm just disappointed. Yeah. No, girl, I really debated doing an OnlyFans. I really did. Like, it actually took a lot of convincing out of it for me not to. But with well, you don't have to do nudity on it. No, I don't do it. I don't do it. It's more like a just a. You oh, literally. Yeah. You don't click. even see like my nipples. I do this number. I'm like, well, yeah, you have great boobs, so everyone wants to see them. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but honestly, just show your face. I'm God, you're making forty thousand. <laughs> <Maybe that's laughs> I'm not getting like work. you're hot. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ugh, yeah, so that's crazy. Hot. All right, let's get into some personal shit because we all know it's fun. We've all been through some shit, but let's talk about. First of all, we didn't even notice that these roses are dead as fuck. Well. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's make it for better decor. Our hearts. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Talk about, like, crazy, like, sex stories or, like, losing your virginity. You got anything crazy? Okay, I watched y'all's podcast on the losing virginity, and I was so in shock how late you lost it. Even you, 15, I lost mine at 13. Like, did I you mean, even have your period? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, I was late. Like, I can't say shit, because my little sister did, too, so. Oh, my God. Lord. I started when I was, like, 12. Mm-hmm. I didn't start mine until I was 17 damn mm-hmm. i'd be scared i was infertile damn. Uh, no i 17? went to doctors i went to doctors they were gonna inject me with hormones because i wasn't like i had no like I think boobs I, I had like nothing well they, they came where, out of nowhere <laughs> these hookers came from but <laughs> golly no but yeah so you lost your virginity at 13 yeah <laughs> i cried the whole time it was terrible yeah, so did I. <laughs> but, uh-uh. yeah, you're um like, what is going on? get it out get it out <laughs> it i was listening to y'all so i can't remember everything but I related to the dressing room sex. I've had sex in a mall dressing room. <laughs> oh, God. I'm really mm-hmm. exposing myself. <laughs> oh, wait, we've done to that to ourselves. I um, can tell you my most recent. I mean, on top of fucking yacht. Recorded. Yeah. Recorded? On the fucking yacht. The view. I was like, us. <gasps> oh, oh, and you in the saw bed. it? And in the, yeah, showed I showed her. <laughs> no, my friends have had sex in the same bed as me. Like, just right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> her. No, i've been there too hmm. but then we went <laughs> we went to the bathroom of the airport we were so drunk and i was like i can't I no can't. i looked at her i said just go just go <laughs> just send it because they're like fucking about jerk each other off <laughs> while we're sitting at the bar i was like all right really 
Just you go to the just bathroom. Go. So we waited in they, line no, for they the went family to look bathroom. For the fa- yeah, they looked, oh. they looked for extra family bathroom. I was like, good God. No, we waited in line. There was about 10 minutes we waited. No. How, how long was the line when you got out? Baby, I was so here when I was like, golly. <laughs> Did people not work. give you looks? Because I got looks. Oh, uh, probably, but who the, I'm not going to ever fucking Nobody was in the dressing room. No, like nobody was in the actual store <laughs> but us. <laughs> me, her, and the man. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay, here. Okay, but I wasn't expecting it nothing. because he just walked in on me. How did you guys not make noise? Covered my mouth. <laughs> I mean, truthfully. Well, it would like the craziest place. Okay, but you can, um, but it's more hot when you can't make a noise. Because then you're like, no, it's it bi- You're like biting yeah. like your literal tongue. You're no, like, oh, I know. <laughs> you got a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, the, that's the only thing I miss about like dating like young because uh-huh. we were like in the other room next to their parents and it'd be like uh, oh, mm-hmm. see i never did that Wait, mine was the worst one. that's the crazy bed to the me wall. when me and the squeak when me and jacob <laughs> when me and jacob visited because i lived with my parents until i was 18 and i didn't have boyfriends or didn't have sex or anything like that that's just insane to me until i dated connor so that's that, you took your virginity no i had Oh. Like one oh, one okay. time before that, but it, I was living with my cousins at the time. It barely counts. It doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> one count time. I, I, I don't even think, like, I, I was like, stop, please. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Um, <laughs> God, it hurts a lot. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, so, like, when me and Jacob visited, because I had never, like, I've, the only other man I've ever brought to my parents' house was Connor, and. Uh, you were young and dumb. No, we never even fucked there at the house i was like no please stop <laughs> um but then with jacob like you know when you're just like it's had been already like a week and i'm like i can't do it but they had to sleep separately because not had par- to but they just my like out parents, of respect like, yeah. out of respect my parents were like please just don't sleep together which i don't care if i'm 30 yeah. years old and not married i will respect my parents yeah, i don't care about that mm-hmm. so he was sleeping upstairs um in my parents bonus room bonus. and then i was sleeping in boner uh, boner whatever <laughs> and we were watching a movie and we'll be right back. week i couldn't i couldn't do it either no we do it like three times a day like i can't do it <laughs> you'll have no idea i can't do it i was like so then we started on the mattress but the mattress would move the fucking door so then you heard i mean you can hear floor. him walk through yeah. the whole house so on the floor motherfucker had a rug burn all down <laughs> <laughs> Better him than you. <laughs> I, mean, I was starfish in that bed. <laughs> you know when you're like, you know when you do it in the shower and you're like so. No. Close, and you're like, <laughs> okay. What you bet over your titties are hitting you in your face? Oh my god. Well, like, yeah, not mine. I but mean, well, I had that problem. I'm not. Well, only my right one because obviously my left ain't reaching that far. <laughs> my right one's. Just <laughs> oh my god. Well, say, I want to say. I want to know where the craziest place you've had sex. You think? Oh yeah. Well the mall was pretty crazy for me the woods a lot <laughs> oh what yeah you just you're like you're like you want to go on there no no the no it, like it's we would go and smoke queen in the woods and then so well, many were times. you just like hugging a tree it, tree huggers <laughs> i'm not hugging it but like putting my arm up on it yeah <laughs> yeah but okay but i think about it you get cold okay are you still wet like honest to god that's a no. real question i was well, never it was always in the summer Mm. <laughs> <A little> hot. <laughs> the 
the first time i sucked dick was um <laughs> i won't lie to you i won't lie to you it was <laughs> i don't know why you're laughing dylan first time i did it because it was the person that took my virginity but like i didn't before that i was like i just have never like you don't know what you're doing i don't but i'm a natural <laughs> i found out <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was late at night it was on the beach not on the beach it was like walking back from the beach and like you know how there's always like trees at like the end of like the beach mm -hmm. you know yeah. like a trail or something like that where they have the sand spurs yeah yeah mm -hmm. on my knees oh the lock and that shit i'm no. not kidding at least it was a comfy <gasps> but like i made him pad. when i made him finish i was like <gasps> I i'm not that? good <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah my first dude. time it was uh, i threw up so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. also in a canoe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were fucked. Or in a kayak. We were kayaking. Yeah. You fucked in a canoe. Not not fuck, but I gave him that. Okay, no, that's fire. <laughs> Do you like sucking dick? Do I like it? I like to please. If I really like him, I like to know mm -hmm. that I'm pleasing mm -hmm. him. I don't enjoy it. I'm like, oh, that's so good for me. But <laughs> yeah. Taste so good. Mm. Winnie does not like it whatsoever. Mm -mm. I'll do it if I like them, but Do not you like it? I love it. Or if I'm hammered, I'm slobbing. Oh, no. It, me, when I'm drunk, though, I'll do it for a second. And I'm, uh, I'll fake it. So, Jacob, if you're watching this, please don't. I'm actually not going to show this episode. But, like, okay. <laughs> so, you know when, like, you're drunk and you already know that you're going to throw, not throw up, but, like, you just have yes, really bad re yes. gag reflex yes. to begin with. You start slobbing, okay? No, that's the And it hits though. the right spot. <laughs> you get off. And, you're, and then you're like, just get on top. Because then, but then I literally have to hide my face and breathe while he's... <laughs> You're like, oh, Tommy, Tommy, the humming, Bree Tommy, the humming thing. You're like, mm -hmm. I'll do it with my moan. I'll do it with my moan. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm so not. I'm not that, that happened last time. I was drunk. I would. Um. I was about to throw up because I was drunk. Other than that, though, no, I'm. No one putting the hatch down. One time, a guy, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was shoving my head down. No, like, uh, no, no, I no, will body chop no. your dick right here. I will, I will start biting. We had <laughs> just eaten like a full ass meal, <laughs> no. and I just feel it coming. I don't do it on him, but all over his comforter. Not, it wasn't a lot or anything, but I was Mine's like, like the, I was like, well, I would do the same thing if I got the my solo method down, like the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. It's like warm in you my like mouth. I know they can feel it around when the you ring. You feel like your body gets throw up. You take off. You start licking it. <laughs> like, <laughs> sucking the balls <laughs> sucking on the balls there's a point though christian like, you eat ass oh, I've eaten. i heard that told like i didn't know that until yesterday who the fuck told you that <laughs> your podcast <laughs> oh <laughs> i do it myself <laughs> i don't eat ass it's between the asshole it's called the taint, taint. I thought it was the gooch, yeah. And you rub that bitch. Oh. Uh, you have him winking off. <laughs> I swear. Okay. I thought you meant you were literally fingering his asshole. Oh, I was fuck like, no. No. Do you, I wouldn't. do you suck balls, though? Of course. Well, what? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm just laughing. Do you suck balls? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes no I get always scared is to go so down. Like, with our podcast. Sometimes I get scared to go down there because I'm going to either smell something or feel a dangle bag. Oh, my God. <gasps> Yo! Uh -uh. This oh, God. one hook up. Stop. Okay. Oh, hold on, let me. Dingleberries. <laughs> we're we're sixty nineing, so my <laughs> face is down there, right? We're both really hammered. He's you laying down or is he picking you up? Uh, we're laying down. Okay. He farts. <laughs> I I ignore it. I ignore it. I'm like okay. Like, like, oh, that might have been a queef. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like I'm like okay, like okay, one, like we'll get over it. Happens two more times in a row. Like this man's so you start farting sniffing it while like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm done. Oh, no, I got, did it, it smell really bad? Ass. You should have ripped it. It didn't smell bad, face. but I just couldn't. I, I had to laugh. I couldn't do it. <laughs> you should just shit on him or something. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> no. I should have done it right back. <laughs> you should have been like. You should have. <laughs> you should have gotten like ma <laughs> <laughs> no and the worst part is he act like it didn't happen he so like, then you just had to like good i would have gotten like did you just shit your pants <laughs> 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 or did you just shit my <laughs> <laughs> did i queef or was that your beef i don't know what <laughs> i think i actually just saw something shoot out you imagine it gets like the ick so bad too and if something happens during sex it just ruins everything you're no, like, like it's so hot what? and heavy tension and then it's like yeah. bye i'm, I'm actually, done <clears throat> oh my have you ever had something like really tiny 
a dick? <laughs> yeah, girl. Like micro. Do you get no. like grossed no. out? Like do I you like look at him like have, No, I didn't have sex with him, but I was like, I'm not gonna do anything with you, but like I'll give you a hand job type thing. I was spending job. the night in this guy's You're dorm. like this. <laughs> no, no, and I like I put my thing around it expecting to be like this, and it was just like <laughs> So then you have to just do the one hand. No, no, I'm like, just, no, 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 no jack and no, off because there's nothing. You're like, just squeeze it. Just squeeze it. Just milk the udder. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the worst part is, he was like, yeah, it's like six, six and a half. I was like, baby, it's two. You're like, have you measured your, di- your dick? Okay, but the worst thing is, and I know you can relate, is when it's tiny. And you're fucking for a little bit. But then it's so wet that, like, you can't even feel it. No. Yeah. No, one of my like, bo- actually, just one of my boyfriends. It doesn't yeah. go in. It's just like queef and it would pop out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. One of my boyfriends oh, was exactly like that. It's the fact that they have to move so hard in order to do anything. I just, I just, <laughs> Especially Whitney girls with big butts. Guys, I heard How do you not get in there? Just no, get in there. No, you but can't. I, I heard Matt Rife, he was on a podcast and he was like, Girls with big butts, I feel like my dick's smaller. And it makes sense. The ass swallows. I mean her. Yeah. No. If I had a schlong Oh, obviously, I fuck her. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I would. But I wouldn't know. I would be intimidated. She goes. She goes into doggy. And that thing is. Your hands look small. You already have like three inches that you have to yeah. reach. You, yeah. You already yeah. have to That's part. The past that. You have to literally grab boulders and part them just to get it in. And then let them go. <laughs> No, I w- I, if I was a man, I wouldn't know what to do. I've seen her you tapes. You know one thing that I've seen that I would- I'm like. Oh my god! Mine don't even move. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it do though. I show you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I seen your boots. I know it do though. Yeah, a little bit when I throw it a bit. Your shit moves. Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time, but like that thing is massive. <laughs> okay. No, I know. I've seen I've seen her videos. God. Not those videos. I mean TikTok videos. <laughs> oh, she, she should see the videos. <laughs> <laughs> it was subscribe. Like, yeah, it would have been better if it was a different. Wait, are they only on your OnlyFans? Yeah. Well, I, I bet don't really you get paid. Well, I don't really sell them anymore. But also her camera roll. I mean, one day we were sitting in her truck back from the gym. God, don't ever hear me say that again. Back from the gym that happened like a year ago. Um, we were showing each other videos, and she pulls up one. And yeah, all. but yours are all, your videos are with the most massive dicks. But I don't really understand it. Like, <laughs> it's just the whole like you're. You, it doesn't even go in. It's just like the. It's like your whole ass and the dick. You can see the whole dick. It's just because, a little tip and it's like. Beep, beep, beep. Because I don't have an ass to cover it. Oh, he be getting it. When you can see it. <gasps> my right mom here. My mom was literally telling me about like how she was so skinny that would happen. You, can you could see, see it. See it. Mm-hmm. It's insane. Like, I got a little chub in my blood, but. I'm like, Jacob, look at that. That hurts. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that, please. (laughs) Gosh. Anyways. All right, well, it's been lovely talking to you, Miss Katie, and I think you have a great story, and I think the way you carry yourself is absolutely amazing, so keep going. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you, and you're amazing. I love y'all. Thank you for coming, and thank you you guys for watching. We love you. We love you. Keep supporting.